Let's review each icons on the energy optimization panel in Revit. The order in which they are presented follow the basic workflow to generate an insight or perform an energy analysis on your model. Go on your Analyze tab. This first icon is to set a location. Before performing energy optimization on a building model, you always need to specify its geographic location. This icon is to create an energy model. The energy model is a special form of your Revit model's geometry, which is used for the insight analysis. You can refer to the Revit help topic on energy model for more information. This is the energy setting icon. It specifies the parameters used to create the energy analytical model. Revit offers three analysis modes for creating the energy model for the architectural model. For all cases, however, you should use the default mode Use Conceptual Masses and Building Elements. The other modes relate to legacy behavior and are provided only to support older models. Refer to the Revit help topic on energy setting for more information. This icon generate, generates the insight of your energy model. The Optimize button lets you access the result of the simulation. Once your energy simulation is done, you can access the result either by clicking on this Optimize icon, but you can also use the link provided by email or go directly to the Insight web platform. Finally, on the upper right corner, you can see the Insight icon. Heating and cooling displays heating and cooling loads information into a summary report. Lighting runs the lighting analysis in the cloud. And solar runs the solar and PV analysis. We'll cover this workflow in depth in later videos.